good morning so you seem to be doing something very enthusiastically yeah so this is the new course Dismantle a mobile, study the battery, understand the charger, heat a kettle, analyze a microphone, digitize a signal, filter a sinusoid, and equalize a channel. Oh, this is a lot. Yes. Interesting. I think this is a wonderful idea. So, what we can do is, you know, just look at a whole range of experiments in electrical engineering that we encounter in real life. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. then we can teach them what's going on behind the scenes uh okay through these experiments right so if i study this course will i be able to analyze given uh, some electronic circuits will i be able to design a uh, little bit of that yeah that's a good point because the course is more or less run with experiments what is it you know that we can pin down as the learning objectives of the course that's a good point so what kind of problems can one solve after doing such a course right so maybe i'll illustrate a typical problem that one can solve yeah, after will, doing such a course me. yeah okay so consider you know your mobile mobile phone it is all being powered by a certain battery right let's say 3.8 volt okay and this battery is going to control various ic's okay this let's say is a microprocessor okay and there is an other ic that is going to control uh let's say your display right right and a third ic that is going to maybe or a third component which is your camera okay now let's say that we are able to place you know some sensors here and make measurements of the current okay okay so i'm going to place some sensors i'll call it an ammeter for the lack of a better word right some some ammeter that is going to measure what the current is as a function of time okay so assume that you have i1 of t i2 of t i3 of t right Three. so i will be able to get the power consumption of each modules exactly okay. you will you are you are you are getting there very quickly right so what i am saying is these ammeters here are able to make i1 of t you know has a certain current pattern right the microprocessor will be consuming some base current you know when you maybe make a call the current may go up mm -hmm. a little bit then it comes back to its idle state and then let's say you take a photo you may go up a little bit again okay now what's going to happen to the camera right which is i3 of t okay i3 of t so the camera is going to remain idle right doing nothing much and i said this is where it is going to you know this is where the camera is active yeah right at this point you will have a sort of a peak current here for the camera maybe your flash has to you okay. know work okay. you have to click a photo it has to get stored and all that right so this is the current profile and then of course the display is you know always going to consume some base power right so if you look at i2 of t it's going to be some base power and again you could have a jump when i have something going on in the okay. camera or something like this right so essentially what we can do now is assuming a certain rating of the battery mm -hmm. right we'll we'll also look at what the rating of the battery means and all that 
but assuming a certain rating of the battery it corresponds to a certain amount of charge or energy that is stored in the battery and with this current profile you can actually plot the instantaneous power that is VDC right which is VDC is this by the way 3.8 volt right into I1 of T plus I2 of T plus I3 of T right so this is sort of the instantaneous power that is being delivered by the battery as a function of time so after doing this course you can actually find out how much of energy was consumed okay. in order to generate this kind of a current profile okay. and not surprisingly this is exactly what happens in a mobile phone there is a power management unit that is making such measurements almost continuously and there is an operating system sitting on top which takes some decisions maybe it will shut off a certain a part of the chip based on the current consumption elsewhere right otherwise your battery will simply go for a toss okay today if you use this mobile incorrectly right your battery will just drain in a matter of minutes if all this power management is not done okay. right so it's surprising that with very elementary concepts of electrical engineering this is just you know KCL and KVL we can get a reasonable distance in understanding what happens in these real life okay. gadgets as well so basically I will get an idea about uh, some scientific approach to analyze electronic circuits exactly, exactly. and then uh, probably that will also help me to lead to some kind of design yes exactly oh. exactly, exactly right Interesting. so uh, Interesting. this is sort of more uh, kind of a reverse engineering course mm. right we have something we have not designed it but we are trying to understand it yes right so we'll make certain measurements with a voltmeter uh, voltmeter has its limitations so you might have to go to something known as an oscilloscope because if you want to make such time varying measurements yeah you need an oscilloscope yeah, this will not be enough. this will not True. be enough right so we will use an oscilloscope we look at uh, you know these measurements and analyze all these signals right so what we have done now is we have put up week one material on the website we encourage you to go look at the material look at uh, you know and also solve the assignment uh, we also put up an one assignment I request you to go look it up and uh, maybe even you can try those problems and let us know what you think okay great so good luck I hope you enjoy the course